Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and tonight, because it's evening here, we are going to do a no heat curl tutorial called Cocoon Curls. Okay, we have everyone keeps calling them Cocoon, I mean Cancun, I mean, oh my gosh, I'm so confused. Cocoon. Cocoon Curls. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, so this is how you start. We're going to just take a section of hair and I'm going to just kind of lift like half of her hair, maybe two thirds of it up so that I can work with just this underneath hair right here. And um, she just recently washed her hair and it's air dried. So we're going to have to add a little moisture back in to our curls. Now remember when you're doing no heat curls, the worst thing you can do is over wet your hair. So if you're starting with wet hair, make sure to let it air dry for a little while till it's at least half dry before you do this. Or if it's dry, you can just add a little spritz of water. So we're gonna take a section and I don't like them too small. The smaller the section, the smaller the curls. We did this one time and used teeny, teeny, tiny curls and she ended up with like this. My hair was like, poof. Crazy, crazy hair. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go for bigger, bigger sections here. So I'm gonna twist it. Now, here comes the tricky part. Take two fingers, lay them on top of the hair and you're gonna go like that. And don't worry if it starts kind of untwisting, that's okay. You're gonna just retwist it so you crossed it over and under, and then you're just gonna wrap it around itself. And you can retwist as you go. Don't worry, I'll show you again, don't panic. And when you get to, depends on the hair length. Like for hers, I, you need at least like two inches, then you're gonna stick it between those two fingers, pull those fingers back through. Okay, so you, can you see this little, this little loop I just created? You do not want to pull it all the way through. You still want those ends popping out and then you're just gonna slide the whole thing down, see? So you want a little loop, but you still want the ends out on that original side. And this is why, I'll show you, because in the morning when we take them out, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab that end, we're gonna give it a tug, and voila, the whole thing unwraps and will create a beautiful curl, of course, after we've let it sit overnight. So I'll show you one more time. Twist the section, fingers on top, hair over, just give it a little twist as you roll it over and over and over until you're about two inches away from the bottom, maybe two and a half. Slide the whole cocoon down and it really is tight. <clears throat> like it won't, it's very secure and you're good to go. We're gonna do our next cocoon. So do it again as fast as I can. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Twist the hair, two fingers on top. Roll it over and to the right, twist it, twist it, and then like you see on this one I'm just, I can't quite make it all the way around so I'm just going to end it right there, give it a tug down, create the cocoon, no it doesn't knot the hair, doesn't damage the hair, it's totally fine. So then I'm just going to take like the next maybe third of her hair, again I'm going to have you hold this, flip it over, and we're going to just take our next section. I'll only do two again here. So while I'm doing this, tell you a funny story. Tell them what happened. So my husband and I were recently on a vacation in Hawaii and while we were there, we got a phone call. Tell them. Um, I, I just came out of gymnastics and I had fallen while doing a trick in gymnastics and I fractured my wrist. And it <laughs> didn't, wasn't a very fun phone call because I was in pain. <laughs> So she calls and she's crying, of course, and really upset. And she's like, Mom, I broke my wrist. I think I broke it. The teacher thinks I have a hairline fracture. And um, so the, the bad news was that, you know, of course, we're in Hawaii, so we aren't here to help take care of her. And the person that was helping take care of her, um, the babysitter was poor babysitter, had to deal with it all. But we had just switched insurance. So it was all like new insurance and it was kind of a hassle. And we had heard, I had heard that hairline fractures don't heal, or I mean, don't show up on x-rays for a while. So, okay, I'm gonna just cut into the story for a sec. I just finished two more, now I'm gonna go to the remaining hair. So I didn't know whether or not to take her in to the doctor right away because I had heard hairline fractures don't show up for a while on x-ray. But of course, you know, you don't wanna pay a bunch of money to go in and then have them tell you you have to come back. So I had had this friend that had told me about this Facebook page called Intermountain Moms 
and if I was saying it in my Utah accent, I would say Inner Mountain Moms with no T's. But anyway, so I got on there, and I guess there's this nurse on there. She's a real nurse. Her name's Nurse Danny, and she answers questions to, you know, pregnant moms, new moms, all moms, and she gets on there weekly and answers questions, um, like, live. And so I jumped on there one night, and I asked her the question, how long does it take fractures to show up on an x-ray so I would know when to take her into the doctor? Anyway, it was really nice because we got our question answered, just like call a nurse, only on the internet in Hawaii. And we took her in, and yeah, it ended up being fractured, hairline fracture. So now she's in her wrist wrap, her brace. Okay, same thing. We're still just doing our little cocoonies. Twist, twist. So if you guys need uh, medical advice, there you go. Check them out. It works for me. So just pull it down, make the cocoon nice and tight. One more, spritz it, do a little bit more. And we are almost finished. So when we take these out in the morning, you're gonna love the curls, they're so fun. Huh, didn't you love them? Did you get tons of compliments when yeah, you wore them to school? I loved the curls, they were so cute. Okay, so again, when you're making the cocoons, just make sure you have one little loop out and then a tail. You don't want the whole tail out on the same side as the loop because then you won't have anything to pull in the morning and get them out. So these are really secure. Like I was surprised how easily they stayed in overnight. But if you're worried about them falling out, you can always take a bandana. Will you hold that tail for me, babe? And just, you know, do like the Aunt Jemima thing where you tie it up like they used to, you know, in the 50s when they all had rollers in their hair. Okay, now hold this right there while I retie it. Thank ya. And that will just, you can just tuck those in and that will help keep those little curlies in a little bit better if you're worried about it, which I don't usually because they stay in so well. And we'll see you tomorrow when we take them out. Hey guys, so it's morning and we are ready to take out the curls. So we're just gonna go ahead and like I showed you before, you're just gonna grab the loose end and just give it a tug and that will just unwrap the whole thing very easily. And you can see that we've got this really fun bouncy curl and obviously you can tell because her curl is so tight right now how easily it would curl within just a couple hours if you wanted to do it that way too. We're just gently giving them a tug, those loose ends, and then they just fall right out so it's not a problem. And when you get them all taken out, then I'll show you what we'll do. So I jumped online last night to look at that Inner Mountain Moms Facebook page again um, and realized that they're doing tons of really cool giveaways right now. So if you guys are interested, I'll put a link in the description box below, and you guys should definitely click on that and check out the giveaways. Plus then you'll know where to go if you need medical help like I did with the wrist. And okay, we're done. So you can see all of her really bouncy curls and they're really full and fun. And then what I am gonna do is just very, very lightly separate a little bit. I don't want to run my fingers through them too much or they'll really puff up on her hair. So we're just going to kind of separate a little bit with our fingers. And if you're thinking the curl is too tight, you can even spritz just a tiny bit of water on them and that will help relax them again too. Just a little bit. I find that they start out curly. Isn't this what you think? They start out really curly and then by the end of the day they're loosened really pretty. Yeah. They tend to flatten them. Kind of flatten more. themselves out. Yeah. So you can see like that one in the back. They're already, some of them are a little looser so it kind of works itself out. Whoop. There we go. Gives you some nice curl. We're almost done. So you can see why I said bigger pieces on this one is a little bit better just because they do come out really curly. Very easy to use this to curl in an afternoon. There we go. Okay, so you have this fun, 
bunch of curls. This spot, I think, is just a little too tight for my taste, so I'm going to just spritz it just a tiny bit, and you'll see that that will just start relaxing that curl even as I'm spritzing it. And you're ready. So for this hair, I do think that on this particular um, type of curls, it doesn't it doesn't allow for you to put like a lot of curls up on top. So one of my favorite things to do is just take a headband and put it on like that. Fix that spot. And just kind of pull it up a little bit. There we go. And then that leaves a lot of fun curl underneath. So once you get your headpan position, then you can just take some hairspray to smooth down any flyaways, and you are finished. And you have these beautiful cocoon curls. So we hope you guys have loved this one as much as we do, and we will see you guys later. See ya. Woodland Fairy tonight. So I think it's kind of a fall autumn-y, soft-looking hairdo, and we're going to add in her little antennas. <laughs>